hey yo it's up you boys welcome back to another video it's me again but what's lord tyler it's pretty late this video is good may be kind of short but i was thinking lately because like you know how i've been going to the gym a lot within the past few months well i was i was thinking right what makes a gym a good gym i have been to two i know i'm signed up to two different gyms and I wanted to compare and contrast because that's always pretty fun. Um, and there are good things and bad things about all of the gyms that I've been to. Of course, I have been like I have walked into like different gyms over the span of my life, but I mainly go to two of them. Um, one of the main things I like about gyms, of course, this is like what kind of equipment they have and um like the brands that they use because like it's always good to have like a wide variety of machines so that you're able to do like you know different different things whether it be like working on your back arms legs whatever it's always good to have a nice range of them of course but it's also good to have a like a, like different like a lot of them i guess i mean yes it, it probably would be quite pricey but it is still like really good like at one of the gyms i go to there's like two of, like two of every weight machine and that's pretty cool because like i mean it all, it all also depends on like with the location of the place and how accessible it is because, like, if it's a very busy place, then it would be good to have, like, a lot of different machines. But, say, if it's in kind of a secluded area, then you don't really need that many. Because there, there of course, is not going to be that many people there. But if it is, like, in a sort of crowded, bustling area, and there are a lot of people going to the gym, then it would be pretty cool to have, like, different machines. Like, a lot of machines. So you don't need to wait around for other people. And, like, of course, you can just, like, switch up your, like, routine or... Re um... Re what's the other word for it? I don't know, but you could just switch up your you know, routine to adapt to what's available basically um another factor that plays a massive part placement of the machines because like at one of the gyms i go to before it got like upgraded and that there's like a, there's like a window wall here right and then you have weight machines over here facing into the inside of the gym and then like just a meter away right you have the cardio machines facing towards the weight machines so if you're on either of those things then um you get the person on the other side steering directly into your soul the entire time so like you could be like running on the treadmill right and then you're just like locked eyes with the person on like the leg press machine it's it's scary it's 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 uncomfortable and i mean of course they upgraded it they changed it now the cardio machines are facing the window, out of the window, and like a lot of machine, like a lot of, a lot of gyms ha do have the cardio machines facing out the window, and that's cool, you know, you get a nice pretty view of everything, but, but by the same token, you also get a really nice view of all of the people walking past, and they get a great view of you too, which is, it's, the other day I was running on the treadmill and there were like a bajillion kids because like I was going after school, a lot of kids have after school stuff going on and so they were walking past and like they, they kept pointing and laughing at me. I mean I don't care but it was just in the, like, oh you're blocking my view. I wanted to see the pretty sunset. But instead I just got a bunch of kids who like, like laughing at me. but. To be honest, they're not the ones on the treadmill. What are they doing? Oh, they're probably doing their own extracurricular stuff. But what is not my problem. Uh, also, in, in regards to the placement, how close machines are together. You know, 
it's it's always good to have a nice distance apart. Cause at one of the machine at on what at one of the dreams I uh, dreams I go to, you're on like the rowing machine, right? And then like there's another rowing machine like right next to it, like about there, like the other person's head right there, only a few inches away as you're using it, right? You can literally hear the other person breathing like so loud, cause like it's a, it's a gym, right? Of course, people are gonna be working their asses off and breathing and sweating and making noises. And you're doing the exact same thing too, and it, 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 it's kind of icky having having that like really, 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 really close to me. It's kind of off putting, but whatever. Not my fault. I can adjust the machines. They're like they're like screwed to the ground. Um. Also, in regards to machines as well, some of them they're they're actually quite budget. Well, I mean, it all depends on when, we, on where you're going, and a lot of the time, yeah, sure, it is, f like, fair enough, a lot of places can't afford to have fancy new expensive machines, um, but some of the, like, s like, there was, like, a front row machine at my school weights club, <laughs> it's, I used it, no, nobody really uses it, but I used it, it felt like it was going to fall apart. No, like literally, like I sat on it, right? Not only was it like, w uh, like all of the foam had like practically deteriorated, so it just felt like I was on a hunk of metal. Or that technically it is just a hunk of metal, but yeah, the foam had deteriorated. As I w like, the the bar things were quite far away, so I had to like really, really, really extend my arms to grab it, and then like it kept jiggling. It was literally probably held on by like. Actually, I think they were separate pieces. The thing that you sit on and then the thing that you pull. It felt like it was separate, basically. And it kept wiggling. Like, wiggling, like, a lot. Um. So I only did, like, a few sets on there. Because I could not finish using that. Um. I tried. I tried. Um. Also, other things that are good about the mach are good about uh, gyms, the location of them, of course. Like, the placement of them in parking. At some of the gyms I go to, like, it's paid parking. Like, oh my god, you know how the cost of living crisis is rising, is rising rapidly? The other day, my mom and I went to the cinemas, and we had to pay $5 for one hour. Why? It's crazy. One time my dad, he decided that that was too expensive so he didn't pay. Got fined 40 bucks? So yeah, that was kind of weird. But at least we don't get to pay for parking on Sundays. So that's why it's much better to go to places without pay parking. Uh, but sometimes the places without paid parking those can be quite busy as well so it, you 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 spend like i'd say 15 minutes trying to find a park you could be working out in that time it would be best to run to the gym extra cardio i guess but it's kind of far away my mom wouldn't let me do that. I would. That would be. It would. Ideally, I'd like to do that. But no, because it's dangerous outside. Um. There are probably a bunch of other bajillion things that I could think about in regards to gym criteria. Um. I'll save that for another video. I'm tired. Anyways, yeah, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get all those updates. Bye bye.